reading from the book of Joel chapter 2 verse 25 and verse 26 ndipo ndidza kubwezerani zaka zida zija tombe ndi chiri mamine ndi anoni ndi chimbalanga kululanga lali kululankondo Ndimene ndina litumiza ndipo mutsaja ija ndikukuta ni mutsalemekeza dzina la Yehova mulungu wanu amena na chita nanu moda bwitsa sadza chita manyazi ndawi zonse I will restore to you the years ndawi yakubwezeretsa what has been devoured what has been destroyed chimene chaonongeka chaonongedwa kwambiri there is a promise of restoration palilonjezo la kuwezeretsa he is a god who honors his word ndi mulungu amene amalemekeza mawo wake we want to finish the message the restoration of the bright tree tifuna tiwezeretse utenga wa kuwezeretsa kwa tengo wangu atidwi to come to the end of this message kufika kumapeta utenga we started a while ago tinawiamba pakandhawi but today by the grace of the lord kumalero machifundo cha mulungu ni somo we want to come to the end of it tifuna tifike kumapeto ka utenga although we know we can never finish a message ngakai tikudziwa kuti sitingamalize utenga we can preach for years on one thought titakulalikira kwa zaka ndi zaka pa lingaliro limodzi May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Ambuye adalitse kwerenga kwa mawo wake. Last Sunday we were preaching on the message doors in door. Sabata ya pitalo tibalali kila pa utengwa wa komo kati mwa komo. And the mibawa was here to to record the message. Anzatu amibawa anali pano nditu na jambula utenga. I think they've been broadcasting it for a couple of a day or two. I don't know whether they will continue but uh, it was worthwhile that the message went across the the country and also across the world. We want to thank our dear brother brother Stanley. Tifuna tiwatokoze mbali watu okondeka mbali Stanley. You know God has positioned us strategically wherever we are. Mukudziwa mulungu watika malomo tidimo ndicholinga. Whether you are in the media fraternity. Kaya nzathu inu atolangani. God has put you there. Ambuye akwikani kuti mukala atolangani. Whether you are doctor, kaya matokodala kaya manes or teacher wherever you are consider that a mission for yourself it should be your mission field may the lord bless us and on friday wow what a time we had then jesus came we preached on then Jesus came. 
Mulungu anafika. Yesu, Yesu. Yesu anafika. Then Jesus came. So it was a wonderful service. Nali service yabu ino. We praise God. Tutoko za Mulungu. Today, Lero, we want to tie up the loose ends, as it were. Tifuna, tikalu migize, zidutra zonse. This bride tree, we saw how devastated it, it was. The four little creatures. Actually, they are not four, but it's one creature in different dispensations. It started on the fruits and the nine fruits were all destroyed. Then it went on the leaves and the leaves by the locusts were all completely destroyed. Now, here we are. We are now on another stage where we are seeing another creature called the, the kanka worm. Has come to attack the tree once again. The kanka worm was dealing with the buck. Kungu. That's right. And uh, the bark was now being destroyed. And when that happens, you find the church is dying. In the message, the restoration of the bright tree Paragraph 247. The prophet says, Now this little fellow started to destroying. Destroying what? The cankerworm got into the back. Watch what it did. Begin to destroy the bark. What did it do? It made a natural church for a spiritual church. Yes, sir. It took away the true and gave it a false. The fruit, the palmer will eat. <coughs> the leaf, the locust eat. Now the bark. What is the bark? The covering. The religion. The doctrine. The doctrine the Kankawem got. What covers us? We cannot be a church without a doctrine. We need to have a doctrine to become a church. So, the Kankawem came to destroy the covering and introduced another doctrine that was against the word of God that brought death into the church. Where did that first doctrine come from? Paragraph 249. Outside of the Bible, anything that comes outside the Bible is false. You historians, you know where it comes from. 
from Rome. Kushokera kwa Roma huko. Exactly where it started. Kweni kweni huko kumene zinayambira. And then they started accepting dogmas. Anayamba kuvomereza zipunzitso. That were against the word of God. Zimene zinalizo tsana ndi mawa mulungu. That's the kankawem. Ndieno chirimaminech killing the tree. Kupamtengo destroying the tree. Uononga mtengo so that it dies completely. Kuti mtengo ufe kwa tuntu. So the bark was now being destroyed. So pano kungwali linali likuonongedwa. The church is no more has no longer got doctrine, true doctrine. So pano mpingo watsala opanda chipunzi so cheni cheni. Everything goes. Zonse za pita but God has got something in his mind. The doctrine of the church was now being destroyed. The bark is going. Falsehood is entering. And somehow people are, are accepting that which is false as true. Matoka and to Ambagulandi and Ufomereza, Chaboza, Joga Jona. Because the doctrine is no longer there. Chifuaja would keep Punzi so Jaffa, Paribenso. True baptism, water baptism, Obadizo and Weni Wamazi is now being substituted by being sprinkled. Niku Rondezera. Yet in the Bible, Amenem Bible, the first believers were immersed in the water. Anna. John the Baptist Johann Mbatizi immersed people. Even the Lord Jesus Christ himself was not sprinkled. He was baptized in the water. Where did sprinkling come from? It came as a result of the bark that was eaten. False doctrine is entering. People are now being told all you need to do to be a true member of the church is to be paying your money and have a registered uh, uh, account then you are a Christian. The Bible doesn't say that. To be a true member of the body of Christ is not about you paying money. It's about you being born again. I could be paying money as much as I can. When, the, when I die, the member, the deacons and the elders of the church, the pastor, they'll say, look into the book. Called Mitulo Yaka Mapereka. Oh, I'm a pereka. Oh, Ninkrisi do. Brother, I don't care how close Pereka Saka so say. It doesn't mean that you're a Christian. Although giving is important, but now that has been substituted so by the kankawem. So little by little, the gates, the walls are now broken. The wolves are coming in. And destroying the fruits, destroying everything. Seriousness is no longer there. Women now are being allowed to preach. But the Bible clearly says, Paul says, I don't allow women to teach or to have a sub authority. Today we have got women apostles. Women pastors. Women bishops. Yes, it is accepted by the uh, denominational world. But according to the Bible, that is not right. According to the teachings of our prophet, 
who said I preach what Paul preached preach. Paul never allowed women to preach so this message is only advocating what Paul stood for who has now allowed women to preach the conqueror has destroyed the religion the religion is no longer there now where do you go Women are now preaching. Not only that, they are now allowing women to wear trousers. In the church world, the denominational world, they vocated it. They said because now we are living in the time of our freedom of association. Freedom of dressing. I still, I still honor the late President Dr. Kamuzu Banda. Who said in Malawi, I would not allow women to wear trousers. He was a true leader. People criticized him. But he said, I don't care. The Kankawem started to destroy. There is no more religion, no more doctrine. The church is dying. They have now got the doctrine of Balaam. The doctrine that likes money more than the word. The whole service. Uh, people are being taught not how to live right and all that but it's all to do with monies so what is happening here the doctrine has changed they have now introduced men made doctrine instead of God's doctrine. May God help us. Prophet says in question and answers but as a church as a people congregation we have to have a doctrine that we stand for in order to be a church. And this doctrine that we stand for is the best of our knowledge to the word of God the truth of God. Doctrine is gone. You can dress anyhow. You change the Bible anyhow. Communion uh, is now being taken around morning. Yet it is called the Lord's Supper. Supper is supper. Supper is only breakfast. Churches today, they care less. They are having communion 8 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning. Giving people uh, cherry plum. 
And bread. bread. And biscuits. Ndima biscuits. They've changed the doctrine of the church. It's wrong. It must remain the way it was when God instituted his word. You and me have no power to change it. Because the Bible is God's eternal constitution. We cannot change it. They've gone further to say now you for you to be a Christian such a women we must choose the kind of uniform they must put on now you have churches that are identified by the kind of uniform their women wear you can tell those are Seventh Day. Those are Catholics. God is living water. By the kind of uniform they, the attire they are putting on. But they've forgotten the greatest uniform that God has given us. Was the Holy Ghost. You need to put on the Holy Ghost. Because when that banquet was prepared, people were given something to wear to enter into the banquet. Not somebody wearing red, another wear purple, somebody white, no. It had to be one kind of uniform. And when the owner of the banquet was passing by, he found that others were not even putting on that uniform. What was that? It was the Holy Ghost. That's what will be recognized in heaven. But these churches have changed for doctrines and all that. The doctrine is no longer there. When the church has lost its doctrine, that church begins to believe anything. Somebody can come here and introduce something and people get that. And the church gets confused. We have one doctrine where whether you are in Mzuzu, whether you are in Karonga, in Sanje, Chitipa, Mwanza, wherever, that doctrine that we have is the message of this day. They change it. They now allow women to cut their hair which is against the Bible. Do you know, brother, if your wife cuts her hair, you have a right to divorce her. She's dishonoring you. We've got so many sisters busy cutting their hair. So they've cut their hair. They allow them to cut their hair. When the hair is the glory of the woman. For a man to keep his hair 
is dishonorable. But for a woman, it's honor and glory. But this Kankawem has destroyed all of that. You have in other churches praise team, a praise team full of girls or women painted fingers cut hair putting on trousers yet they are saying they are in the spirit I'm not here to condemn people I'm only here to say what the Bible says. The cankerworm is destroyed. But we want to thank God. The restoration has come. The restoration is here. Now we have that church, we have that church, that denomination, that denomination. I don't care where you go. If they don't preach the whole Bible, you better get away from there. Because the world will be judged by the word of God. This is the true doctrine. So the back is gone. The religion is no longer there. The covering is gone. When Adam and Eve lost the covering, they found that they were naked. How did they know that they were now naked? Because that which was covering them is gone. What was covering them? The Holy Spirit. Adam and Eve now realized that they were naked. So God had to do something else to make another covering. He killed a lamb and God, the, the, the skin of the lamb to cover them. Today, on your own you are naked. But when you are in Jesus Christ, you are covered. You are protected. So this doctrine has killed millions of people. But want to thank God that he has brought us back to the truth. We are no longer in the man-made doctrines. Decency has come back to us. Do you know when Brother Branham went to South Africa? That was 1952. 1952. At this race course in Deben. La la Mahachi Deben. There, Umene. after preaching, Adamarizakulikira. Some of the African people Ena and Hajikuda who had come there completely like naked. Amene Anabera Mukutsuaka Fadilogaja. But when the Holy Spirit passed through them, the women covered themselves. 
When the Holy Spirit comes upon our sisters, they will now cover themselves. They will dress properly. No more kudula here. No more kudula. No more two odd drops, three odd drops. Sisters dress decently. Along of Dress properly. Vani Mawino. Is what Mutsudula Mu John de Tazician. Zipatsen Ulem. Valan Maulem. Zemekesen. Valan Zotamba Suka. Musaval Zotina. Mutikondeko. Tikondeni. Kwambiri mzawa rusuda mapanga zikolo kufuza inesina kunepo na mamuna wina rese. Akuti hinde fuka mafaridu wako na pangi saamuna ambiri kusirida mpaka na lira ujahena. Dress like a sister. Valani ngari mulongo. Decently. Motile meke zabu inolome. Let it be our way of living. Tikale jirayatu ya jikalidwe. Cover your breast. Pimbani It's a respected body. But I want to thank you, sisters here. You're now judging the world by the way you are dressing. Do you know people now know that I are their believer? They see you by the way you are dressing. Keep it up. Keep it up, young, young girls. So, distance has come back. God has brought back sense. Mulungu wabwezeleza oera ntima. And paganism, you know, had flourished. Chigunja, chila kamugira. Christianity and paganism intermingled and brought out what we call a, an international religion. Chigunja, niji kristi tu, zinasa kanigira na abweleza you know it. Something that looks like Christianity. But Paul says, having a form of godliness. But they deny the power thereof. They back. Is gone. Chikungwa chapita. Lord help us. Ambuye attendees. Order was gone. Ah, uh, don't go solo. Dinar chapita. There was disorder now in the church. Panali chinambala mumpingo. In this church, may God help us to have order in the church. Chali chimachu muno ambuye attendees etikale. You don't go solo. Prophet says, Munene Agunena. Oh my, how I would like to show you. We won't go into it. But that's exactly what the church has to be right in order. The church has got to be in order. 
Ah, uh, inde inde ndi mene ndikufunira command mene zikwena okalira mwadongo solo mumpingo. When there is order things work properly. Pa mene pali dongo solo zindu zimaenda bwino. When there is disorder, pa mene pali zina mbalala chifiri mbwiti, you create chaos. Mumalenga kusokonekera. Tukuona zimene zikuchitika umusuku. Abali atu ambiri, mabungwe, antu, mabanki, ndiena kubere itakatundu, ndizi tandizo. Akanaka uti antu, amina kupasi doa, akale pa dungo solo, imani panzira buino buino, aliesa ata kupasi. Kwa machupiri kiti jima zaloa, mwontu mozi, akulandira kateni, akapasi doa kusunguri aso. Dimana can in Zuguagan, my in Kazuaga, Zungria, the peasants in the Antu Kudaba, if it in a business in the Zand, five thousand, Tango Passa and four hundred Oka. Why, there is all disorder. Adibedongo solo. When there is disorder anywhere, Amene, Badi, Badi, Gabena, Badi, won't achieve anything. Badi, Benjamin, have been doing if there's disorder in a family, you will not achieve anything. Most of them, Gakara, Kubala, Rigam, Mumba. So, so order is very important. Dongo solo ndilo funikira. And you know God is a God of order. Kodi mukutsiwa kuti mulungu ni mulungu wa dongo solo. He says in the message the greatest battle ever fought. Agunena mutenga wa ngondo yaikulu imene ina menyero pa tsiko lonse. Paragraph 49. Pa paragraph 49. And I thought then so, I know, if that great heavenly host like that has to keep its place to make everything in order. Do you know the stars are in order? The moon is in order. The sun is in order. Everything is in in its right place. Ah, zorenge da zonse zini malo mwake moenera. Everything. Zonse. To make everything in order. Kuti mpake zonse zikare mdongo solo. What about the disorder of the earthly host? Kodi nchifajaa ni pari kusa longo soka pa uyo uenga na tziko. How when one gets out of order. Pamene mozi ajo kapa dongo solo. How it throws the whole thing out of kata. Pamene ya mango soko neza zonse. The whole program of God. Ah, dongo solo lonse la mulungu is upset. Lima kala libuno mino. It is upset. Lima kata soko neze doa. When one member gets out of order. Pamene member la mozi ajo kapa dongo solo. When we are all in order. Pamene tose tiba dongo solo. The church functions properly. Mpingo umayenda bino lomwe. But if one. Kuma mozi eka. Two. Kamena awiri. Three. Three. Get out of order. Na ajo kapa dongo solo. You bring confusion in the church. And people go around. There is no love for charity. No, there is love, but you have brought this word. And you think everybody is out of order. By so doing, Potero, you create disorder in the church. Uma Bereza Chisogoneso Mumpingo. We should continually to strive to keep the order of the spirit. To Gwenera, Kuese, Sakuti, Tipitirize, Kutidongo, Solamulungu, Lipicare, Mumpingo. There should be order in the church. Gwenera, Kadongo, Solo, Mumpingo. Everybody knowing what to do at what time. And where and how. Amen. Yes. I applaud the head deacon. And the funandia migira head deacon. He's crying to say, look, when we come to church, let's be in church. We should not have private meetings outside. We should be here. That's order. Tikare muno, ndiye dongo sololo. Let the music department be in order. 
anzatu azaimba imba bandi akale padongoso lao they've come in time afike pandhawi yao they've prayed komanso atapembera they've tuned atachuna bwino bwino the song leaders have already here also my song leader afika pano they've also prayed na also anagwada na pembera they know exactly what needs to be sung on that day akonza ndondomeko ya nyimbo zoti zimbidwe tsiku limenero there is order pali dongosolo there is quiet time pali ndawi cha yaka chete chete cha do you know there is hardly quiet time panopa mukutsiwa ndawi yaka yasiyasi pano pali beri ya zwi cha quiet so muri da kungofika tent imbe iya tikale quiet kai ndofunika nditu tikale ditanire nditu khala apo kwambuye let's have 15 minutes of quiet time People are coming in. And to deacons are meeting them by the go, by the door. God bless you, brother. God bless you, sister. Each one is walking quietly. The deacons are leading them. Please, sister, sit there. Sister, Everybody is being. Ushered in aliense akuonetsedwa kuperekezedwa bwino lomwe everybody is obedient aliense ngoti chepetsa there is order pali dongo solo the deacons have arrived in good time matikoni athu afikaso pandawe yabwino the church starts at half past 9 a uh, service mayamba half night the deacons are already here by 9 o'clock matikoni 9 o'clock afika kale this order ndiye dongo solo ndimenere The band is already here. Band ya fika kale pano and the Christians. Ah, uh, a Christians are already here. Na onso afika. That day. Siku limenero. The Holy Spirit will come among us. Simu omulungu tsika. There is order in the church. Chifwa cho kuti muchali chimo muri dongo solo. But when the covering has been eaten by the kanka wem. Koma amene cho pimba cha jedwa ndi chilimamine. Upeza sister ama chedwa service ina ili yose. Upeza brother ama chedwa service ina ili yose. Mama isu akachedwa ama jomba service ina ili yose. There is complete disorder. Pali jina mbalala. Ama chita kubu sidwa sister. Lero nditsikula sevi. Oh, pacha ndina iwala. Tirichose. Ndi ukujo ukuiwala tsikula sevi. Ku sevi suma iwala. Koma tsiku lotu kaonetwa mato si iwala ya. Tsiku lotu kupita ku nchito si iwala. Tsiku lotu kulandirisa anthu ena abwera abungwe likulandirisa uma fika pamene uma yambiraso ndi weyo. Ochedwa kucharichiwe. Mama kupesa mama namba 2 ofika kale. Eh ndalawira lati zinga ndiphonye. We should always continually strive for order. Tikuwerera kuchiri kuchiri vika kuti tikhaini dongo solo. Our children and our watu are in order. Ali mdongo solo. They are taught at home. That when we come to church, it's not time to play around. It's a time to respect the house of the Lord. There's order. Even if you go to the toilets, there's order. Also, toilet paper, Kenya kidia cha ngongo choza bora tichotse basi kena akata ngongo chitaya somomo this no order bali beru dongo solo pamene uko akala kala after that is done whatever the my, my units akutaya somomo ayo ni mwana mukairu mu akutaya so mapampa mwana akungo taidwa So you find, you wonder that kind of sister has no order for charity what about in her home we need to be people of order dress properly 
Be presentable. Church must be respected. I've been, I've been around the world and each service day I find people respecting that day as if it was on a Sunday. There is order in their heart. In their heart. This is the house of the Lord. David said, David Ananena, I was happy when they said, let's go to the house of the Lord. I would rather miss going to, to work than missing to church, coming to church. We shouldn't be reminded again and again we fail. We don't remind you to buy twenty brother Mr. John Mekun Chito Mao. Tima Kukumbusan. Mma Pira Fesha. Tima Kukumbusan if you don't go agree to the matter. Mma Ziwi Irat if you want to go to Kuri Chakudi Achanu. Kuchari Chidi Kumeni Su Kuri Chakudi Achanu Chamo Oyo. Amen. There is order. Bari Dongo Solo. The children are under order. Just imagine Mulendo Abuere if a visitor comes to your home and the child is not orderly. He's asking money when are you Abuera Mulendo? Akupempa drama kwa Mulendo. Ndipasa drama. Ndipasa drama. Mama me akona ndipasa drama tao. Mana me na ni ndongosolo. Who is the to blame? The parents. Makolo. There has to be order in the home. Children has to be under order. Mwana uta atontrola ndi zingo muna misa. Hati kukwere sila sweet katika katontrola. Ndi kukwere sila bread katontrola. No! No, no, no. There has to be order in our house. Mkare dongo solo nyumbamo. Now we are coming. Sopano tiku pika kumabedu. We are coming to a place, to a point where. Tukufika pamalo, pamene. That when there is order, God is pleased. Do you know when there is order in your, in your body, you are healthy. We are the body of Jesus Christ. When we are in order, He is happy. There has to be order. The body of Jesus Christ, which we are, we have to have order. The way we talk, the way we, uh, we conduct ourselves. There is order in Brother Abraham says you see the message, Behold, a greater than Solomon is here. Paragraph 8. Uh, paragraph 8. He says, 
Nena. Brother Collins. Pale Collins. Yeah. I've known him. Ndawatziwa for a number of years. Kwa saka ndi tuzambiri. Sweet precious Christian. Um Christ to wabu ino ogoma. A real man of God. Muntu wenweni wa Mulungu. He and his wife. Iwo ndakazwao and family. Pamoti ni banja lao is all under the order of God's order of the Bible. Iwo onse alipansi padongo solo la Mulungu. Brother Branham commending a family. Ah, uh, Bali Branham ku yamikira banja. I want to commend families that I can say they are in order. Kuna ndifike so boyamikira mabanja ameleti gati kunena kunolomwe kuti ali mudongo solo. That's what God wants. Disimene mulungu mwini akufuna. The family of God which is which is his church. Ah, uh, banja la mulungu limene liri mpingo wake has to be in order. Kwenda ukala mudongo solo. I thought that I was going to finish today. It doesn't look like I can, I can finish today. Tumaganiza kuti timalize lero koma zikuone kuti siteka so timalize lero. Because we yet have to go through something else. Tunyo di pali magawena oti tidutse. There's also to be conduct. Pakwene kwa dongo solo. Brother Branham gave us a message. Pale Branham anadi basa utenga. Conduct Dongo solo. Order. Ah, uh, kapena kuti kuchira kachidwe kazindu. Order. Dongo solo. And the doctrine. Ndichi punzi ito. That's the backbone of the church. Ndiye fupa laba nsana la mpingo. Conduct. Ah, uh, kachidwe kazindu. Order. Dongo solo. And the doctrine. Ndichi punzi ito. In short. Mwongo dula. C-O-D. C-O-D. This is what we stand upon. We stand upon COD. We need to conduct ourselves as believers. We need to show the people out there that they can count on us. They can count on us. If there are people who are unfaithful in the world, they can count on us that will be faithful. The world needs, needs people who can say, here we are. We are believers. We are believers. We should be examples. We should be EGs. People can now say, no, look at this family, look at this brother, look at this sister. And to Afrika Bone Nakuti, uh Taona ni brother, our onani banja iri, that is tanzo. Loving, achikondi, caring. Uh, oh, sama, aji samalira. Decent. Ah, uh, oh, si samalira. That's what we is expected of us. Nichimene chukwembe kezire doa kwa ife. We need to conduct ourselves as believers. Chukwene la kuti onetera doka ngati okulu bilira. People should come and say, how I wish I was like them. And to Afrika po siri da, nati, ah, nifafuna, pola nika nakana nga daawuche. How I wish I was going to their church. Ah, nika nakana siri da, nika nakana vila uchali chikwao. One day, we will find them here. Siku nina atu mzabeza, atabuena kumi. Paul says, Paulo, akunena, you are written epistles. Inu, we are written epistles. Wherever I am, people must read. And to I am the billboard of the Lord Jesus Christ. I advertise the life of heaven. I advertise 
love. Advertise all that the word is all about. We have a doctrine. We have order. We have conduct. We are sweet people. Caring people. People who esteem others more than ourselves. Because we That's what we need. Patience. And to achipiriro. Loving. Achikondi. Forgiving. Achikurukiro. Understanding. Akunzeteta. Not accusers. Osakala ongo. Ongo losa nzao zala. How many love the Lord? He is everything to us. May God give us that. When we have that, we have Christ in us. We need to pray for one another. When one is, one is uh, weak, I should be strong for them. Not accusing them all the time. He, they need you more than you realize. That's what we need. You need to say to somebody, without you, I can't make it. You should be our brother's keeper. Mukale Osunga Mbariwanu. Not our brother's accuser. Osakara Oweru Zambariwanu. But our brother's keeper. Kuma Osunga Mbariwanu. You know that sister needs you. Mukutiwa Mulongo Uja Akusoa Inu. That brother needs you. Mbare Uja Akusoa Gera Inu. We need one another. Tukusoa Gera Na Wina Nimzache. Because I'm coming to the end. In them days, we had the night compost buses. Unari basi ya imene imaenda usiku. UTM. Yeah, UTM. Ana ambira mati UTM afra Japan ya itukunena United Transport of Malawi. Dime ne na UTM imene. Ma basi yote. Most of the time we would live around nine. There were few of them, not like nowadays. And then there would be selfish people. When they are in there, you will now shout through the window. Just because he's already there. What about those who are struggling? They also want to go to Lirongwe. There are people who don't give others any chance. Amen. We are not here to be condemners. We are here to be lovers. Love your brother, love your sister. Regardless of whatever. 
Zilime njiri kutika mkujoka kwa siyana siyana Love Kondani Covers many sins Chikondi jima pimba machimu ambiri Love Chikondi Covers Jima pimba Love covers it all, he says. Chikondi jima pimba zonse. He says the way to have a fellowship, let me go on, but the message, the way to have fellowship, paragraph 18. Mutenga wanjira yukalandi chianjano, paragraph 13. I'd rather have a church, listen. Bola nikale ndi mpingo. Just a moment. Dango veteran. I'd rather have a church. That knows nothing about any spiritual gift. And just be so in love with each other. And with Christ. I'd rather have that than every spiritual gift operating in the church. A church where everyone is so much in love with each other. Bingo, umene aliense akukonda mbadi wina ni mzache. Somebody, when they see somebody has missed the church, they'll just go and say, my brother, my sister, we didn't see you at church today. Oh, I was sick. You go and visit them. Wina wake, aka wana nzake sana pita kuchalichi, nata manga kutena kunyumba kwa 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 Brother Bones said, love one another. For love covers a multitude of sins. We are all in need of being loved. Do you know, love is the greatest healer. Mugutiwa chikondi ndiema nguhala akulu. You could have issues. Whether in your family. But when you apply love for one another. All that will go. Because love. Covers. Many sins. There is a war going on in Ukraine. One thing that I found out, all of them, the Ukrainians, they've forgotten whether you are in the opposition or whether in the government. They are all working together as Ukraine. Fighting one common enemy. One what fights me? What fights my brother? I'll fight it. I will not be happy to be in the company of brothers and sisters who are talking ill about my brother ill about my sister that is not right I'll say to them yes maybe the brother was weak maybe the sister was weak maybe the family was weak but you don't have to talk about them we need to pray for them have you ever prayed not for your brother but for your enemy
When your enemy is hungry, give them food. <laughs> we always are living with hates with issues that should have gone long, long time ago. You are still holding on to them. Because you have heard from somebody who has also heard from somebody about your brother and sister and you hold on to that and you go on with issues that has nothing to do with you. It is my duty to kneel to pray for each one to love everybody regardless if we begin to spread unfounded stories about each one of us we kill each other Tingwele Fadal mtu wa maya naitza mira, ama mimbi, ama mimbi keza abusa. Inekunja ako sindu uzafa mtu wa maya sa mira kamo tuanga, kome niyo mwaona. Chaku ina umudikire ndibwere, muone zitani, ndi mtu wa maya. Ay, si mudikira maji, ndi ngo choka hapo, anga zachite manyazi abusa. And what do you do from there? Mutani ujo wa mire. Maybe let's drink water. I go around spreading Mayamba Kufarita news. And even in the church, people seeing me coming. And Ramando on and where I have no one is Anna. Now, not Raja Abusa Jabira Abusa, the Maka Gira and the Karome. This man and Ambala in his own. Angalo Karimo Tom Tokas came a Wadikira. We've killed each other's influence. Tapanadu. Mongo, Pega, Abrahungo, Gona, Osaona, Mapedrangan. The one who is a murderer, Ogu Pau is Gawenga, is not the one with a knife. Tifamba, Stampenoka, but somebody, Komawina, who can kill your influence, Amene Apet in Arago, is a murderer. Mundameo, Novo Sajifamba, Jampen. You spread stories. About your wife, about your husband, about your friend, about your church, about everybody. It's wrong. Even when you know they are weak, what you do best is to take the issues before the Lord. Lord, help my friend. Help my sister. We need to be mature. This is no time of excluding one another. We need to use this uh, arithmetic of inclusion. I need you. And you. you need me. If we push you out, who wins? It's the devil. We must try our best 
to include you. You are more important than we realize. Abraham says, Be kind to one another. Because that one whom you called the weakest, the brother Abraham says, If they pray, the devil trembles. There were two people. And two. There were two people. Who went to the temple. One there and the other one there. The first one. Said, Lord, I want to thank you. You know how much I pay my tithes. You know how much I keep myself clean. You know how much he began to glorify himself in the prayer. I'm not like that one. I will not, I will not be like that one. But the other brother said, Lord, I don't want even to to, to lift my head to you. I'm, I'm nothing. I'm, I'm weak. I've disappointed you again and again. I'm sorry. I've done things that I feel so ashamed of. As they are praying, the Bible says, Who of the two do you think God had? That humble brother there. The Bible says, Killing. Amen. We need you, you need me, we need each other. Yes. Yes. We need to lift each other. Let's stand. Let's stand. We need to lift each other. Encourage each other. Appreciate each other. Forgive each other. Understand each other. This journey will not go alone. We need you. Charge we are here, Shalom Tabernacle. Shalom Tabernacle. We want to use the mathematics of inclusion. 
Tifuna tikwiritsenchito masamu opadikizwa. You mean so much to me and to the Lord and to us. Inuyo ndinwamtengwa batali kwaine ndikwambuye ndi watu osefe. This rhetoric uh, that says uh, I don't care about people. No. To never write us off. David. Kunara jina Samson. Sumuna neno Samson nda kutopera. Kunare Adam ninkaze aje. Sumuna nene nda kutopera anu. You still accommodated them and gave them another chance. Kwanja mbuye masana anu. Pamene maya nkula pakati patu. Titandi zireni ngati mpingo. Titandi zireni ngati mabanja. Titandi zireni ngati wina rese paeka paeka. Kutizi somo zanu zika duzi pakati patu. Ndi fole pera, ambuye kati bire ni mikono. Kati ende seni, ulendo pato katigwa. Pato katire pera. Koma eno yomu kati gwira zanja. Tizangu zindri kira tafika. Tika zafika, si zakala nyimbo yota ama ifai. Zakala nyimbo yote, chisomo, amazing grace. How sweet the sound. Ambuye dukia mikani, kupempere la. The officers of this church, to be prepared for the long and the hard days, and to be able to get through it. 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 To be able to get through it.